Okay, the journey across Canada, it begins right now. We start in Vancouver, British Columbia, overcast skies. You will be seeing a lot of that as we go throughout this weekend. Your rainfall forecast in BC is coming up. Beautiful skies on the other side of the country. Check it out as that sun is setting in Bonavista Harbor, Newfoundland. Oh, that was earlier this week. We do have showers coming into the picture for Sunday across St. John. So those details are just ahead. Lots of sunshine in Halifax, but look at what everyone's wearing. You still got gloves. You still still have the jacket. We will be seeing some of those cooler conditions again throughout this weekend. The temperature struggle for the Maritimes in the spring. That's a common concern this time of year. And then Ontario. Wow, the skies were so blue yesterday. That has now changed. Thunderstorm risk coming back into the picture. All the details start right now. You're watching Weather AM on this Saturday. It is April the 27th. May is almost here. I know you want to get into the garden. You want to hear the birds chirping in the morning. That's sometimes happening, and that really is just the fickle nature of this time of year, especially in the Atlantic, because we do see the cooler influence of the waters. And I'll tell you, the seven-day forecast for St. John's, it doesn't look amazing. I'm going to show you that in a second. We're going to get to your national forecast right here. Lots of beautiful sunshine today in the Maritimes, but you are on the cooler side. We're clear and cool, of course, across Newfoundland. And then look at the seven day forecast. Lots of wet weather coming into the picture, a below seasonal trend in your backyard. We start to see some showers as well on Sunday, creeping into the north of the Maritimes, but temperatures on the rise for Sunday afternoon. Now, southern Quebec, nice day today. You got sunshine in Montreal, but look at this here. The shower slowly creeping in. We are in a bit of an active pattern across eastern Canada. By the time we're into this evening and overnight, we will be looking at that wet weather right up and down the St. Lawrence. And for Ontario today, the active pattern is with you. Warm front coming through Saturday morning, holding that instability, and then we are going to be looking at the risk of thunderstorms. Now, Ottawa, your showers are more in through the afternoon and evening, where winds are stretching to Toronto. We're dealing with that throughout the morning. And then holding on to that instability, the shores of Huron, Georgian Bay, some strong wind gusts, heavy downpours, even some small hail. And that's all because this thunderstorm energy is now rushing into the lower Great Lakes. So we're going to hold on to that potential for storms throughout this weekend. Even Sunday, a lesser chance, but still the energy, the potential is there. As a cold front comes in, that really is the trigger to set off some of those storms. But the good news is the cold front is not going to cool us down. We're actually going to see temperatures rise. So look at this, 14 degrees even through the overnight. Remember, that's the daytime high on Saturday. So we're keeping some of that warmth and the humidity is coming back. Check this out. Mississauga on Sunday, thunderstorm risk is there. Feels like 26 degrees. Cooling down slightly into Monday. The active pattern is with us. The wonky temperature roller coaster. You'll feel it right across Ontario. Look at Niagara though. 20 degrees, feels like 21, feels like 25 on Monday. So that humidity slowly coming back into the picture. Now across Western Canada, temperatures are cooling for many regions as we go throughout this week. A cooler trend for the BC coast, 10 degrees in Vancouver. We continue to look at those showers. You can see Regina on a bit of a temperature roller coaster here. Big drop into Tuesday, potential even for some mixing into Wednesday. We're going to feel that in Winnipeg too. Winnipeg looking at a cooler week ahead. And on Monday, this system that sits within the south of Manitoba and stretches into the northwest of Ontario, that's what's going to bring in the cooler trend and the potential for some freezing rain and some snow. Now the active pattern along the BC coast, this continues to bring about 10 to 20 millimeters of rain into Vancouver throughout this weekend, starting to see some clearer skies into Monday, but overall a below seasonal week. And then within Alberta, some of that action spills over the Rockies. This trough will hold a slight thunderstorm risk for Saturday, about 10 to 20 millimeters of rain for Medicine Hat.